Tunisia, Foucault, no boy boneless Immigrant shelter, suck a dick homeless Moist mutilation, drop every pretense Argue consent, age down to infants Gay dude balls exposed at the Olympics Always the kids but thrusting statistics Man with tits and lady with a beard Try too hard to force the thing queer Woke propaganda, fake news, deep state fear Miranda, only one match procreate Serve raw meat, ha ha France get rags full, Mr. Freak, Dr. Chris, respect Gender swap penguin, gender swap Freeze, Concord professor eating his peas. Told you not to touch it, Arthur Punch DW. Worse writing than shows on the CW. Big titty beta testers lift tops. Profit stop for modern audience slop. Downy Doom MCU desperation. Black Panther better booty sweat sensation. What about the woke attack on the Wookiees? Long head leg go ki adi mundi. North Korea ally says Kamala. Save people hunt things in my impala. Now you're on strike. Uh oh, we don't care. Refuse to compete. Now you can't compare Can't make me pay for shit that's this gay Go ask a fat bitch how much she weighed Evil thirst and little kid hunger You'd be in danger if you were younger Hello beta testers Some of you can't seem to stop coming back here But are you liking, commenting, and subscribing to push it up the algorithm? I'm actually well aware some of you are routinely being unsubscribed, so check again to rejoin over 99,800 beta testers. Seems like the French Olympic ceremony sponsored by Global Homo needed to drag a drag queen and a trans child into this occasion. The guy responsible said everyone needed to be represented and included as an excuse to have gay dancing, hugging, and exposed genitals presented to the world. I can't talk about video games without death threats because I disagree with the message, but they agree, so broad daylight urination BJs aren't enough. A forced transgender child, which to many of us rings like a vegan dog, has to be on TV directly next to a man who is exposing his balls. But it's okay because they'll say it's accidental. It's apparently okay because they agree with the message, like Mr. Beast's best friend. I have to watch this bastard joking about, you know, what they'd pay for a slave. It's all in good fun, right? It was a different story with Dr. Disrespect, though, because he's a man. So lazy thoughts only see him for what they can take and how they can destroy him. Like the washed up air quotes journalists mad at Ninja for exercising his choice and right not to put himself in a compromising position or even a suspect scenario one on one alone with a woman. And if skanks ever approach sobriety long enough to become acquainted with reason, they'd understand how petty, jealous, and hypocritical they come off, but who are we kidding? This is the best shot that they have at attention on the scale as big as they crave and feel they deserve. But now that the milk has gone bad, they'll be struggling. Sony buys woke professor developer joke. And last video I said free to play or delay, woke slop cannot be given away. It's garbage. Anakin spared those younglings, otherwise the lightsaber would have turned red according to the moron acolyte logic, right? Begging for a second season, no oh, please guys, you gotta get online and make your voices heard. Hopefully dingling chop off time for underage motherfuckers isn't a typical point of discussion for people calling themselves moist moving forward. Because this woke shit was always insufferable, and tolerance for it among the good people is at an all-time low. Ironic when the least tolerant cult members forcefully injecting their agenda while vandalizing art demand tolerance out of us. Demand payment for objectively inferior and deliberately unappealing garbage smeared all over what people used to like enough to pay for it. A dog could be trained to do better. And that's where AI comes in. People can't be left alone in the comfort of their own homes to harmlessly enjoy what they would fund around the world. And I have the luxury of coming across shill normie liars who have made their careers out of deceiving and treat my truth like an attack on their livelihood. I'm just the messenger. 
The gaslighting has made people the kind of angry that they don't care what happens next, as long as they achieve their goal. And since I happen to know Woke very well, yes, they finally come down to meet the reckless rage at your Alphabet Plus Premium level. People who apparently are supposed to be reporting the news in the gaming space can't admit how overwhelmingly ugly most people would find this. That's why they're so apathetic. You can't escape the appeal associated with Overwatch and how that lent, whether or not you admit it or not, to what might have been an explosion of popularity that they've been able to ride the wave of and coast on even now. My name is Kyle. And I thank God every day I didn't need to be a robot or a dog to appreciate John DiMaggio's performance. I do harbor disdain for the brain damage to require a cast to look exactly like them to identify or relate the experiences and art that I've witnessed woke regress because of the insecure hangups of slack-jawed activists makes me correct in framing your cult as the cancerous tumor that has robbed people of the joy they often pay to escape with. You had to deliberately send the wrong order out because you thought you knew what people like to eat better. The food is burnt because you're not hiring chefs who qualify. You're then gaslighting and telling people that it doesn't taste that bad when in reality it's inedible. But you're not the only restaurant in town and you failed to rob people of the choice to choose literally any alternative and that's what they'll do. They'll inform each other because the trauma they suffer reliving your cringe is a repulsive enough catalyst to inform others and restrict financial support to responsible parties. You are done. 343 destroying Halo and being allowed for a decade to keep using it as toilet paper, that's what Xbox is. Sony needing to censor everything, that's what gaming's become. No curvy women, no exaggerated proportions, raise your hand if you're not a white man, shut the fuck up. That's all women I know are is curvy, feminine, beautiful. But you've tried your best with this Larry Fink garbage to confuse people into thinking that men actually, you know, let's lower that bar so everybody stands a chance and it's inclusion. You have to exclude. You have to remove the women. And that's how powerful they are. That's how instantly we would choose them. In the same way you're forced to dance around how ugly these fucking Concord characters are, you don't stand a goddamn chance against a real woman. So you divide, you rile people up, downgrading and deliberately uglying up their entertainment with your pronoun injections and sensitivity sanitization, exclusion of straight and white while rewriting languages and making sure that the ethnic inclusions are ugly too. This infuriates all sides, you numb nut jackass. How socially inexperienced, how out of touch could you be to think that any of this could fly? And then we read these stories about you people needing be called professor and all of this stupid contradicting the dictionary bullshit and realize if if woman pretty was a hurdle you weren't going to be able to do anything wrap this shit up and get the fuck out you're wasting time money and resources Keep pushing this politically correct garbage and the creatives who stay off the grid by choice will show you just how little the taste of your own medicine is something you can handle. I wanted to talk about fair games, but coming across the former Ubisoft executive that's running the show over at Haven, I'll spare everybody. I love you guys to death and I don't make it through three of my bullet points before I fucking get to the point where it's like 10 minutes into this video. I love you and I have plenty to say because this is my passion. It's not a job. God forbid the Olympics be the tune-in exam that it should be, where people are sacrificing their dick to fucking juice up and, and make some real Dragon Ball Z shit happen out there. But nah, nah, it's really just a competition to embarrass yourself and be gross with fucking kids on a platform. You know what I... Yo, done.
leave your comments because I'm gonna read them. I, I, I'm the only one? Fine. I don't need you to feel the way that I feel. I need to know what the fuck all of this is. You know what I'm saying?